Coverage of the opioid epidemic, you've probably heard of medication that blocks the drug from taking effect in the body. Now researchers at the University of Cincinnati say they've developed a drug that will block the effects of cocaine. And Jeanette Levy shows us how it works and introduces us to the researchers in this week's Project Addicted. Dr. Andrew Norman has spent the last 20 years in this lab researching how to treat cocaine addiction. It's a long process. It's been a very exciting but frustrating one as we have to meet all of these particular milestones uh, along the way. Dr. Norman and his team say they've developed an antibody or drug that binds to cocaine in the bloodstream. This particular drug um, is basically ready to go. The drug essentially neutralizes cocaine. This is the structure of the FAB, that is the portion of the antibody that actually binds the antigen, which in this case is the drug molecule, cocaine. They've used rats to test the antibody. As this animation shows, a rat has an IV in its back. The rat presses a bar when it feels it needs more cocaine. This will mimic many of the human um, manifestations of addictive behavior. So it's a very good model. The antibody was tested in the rats and it worked, stopping the cocaine's effects. Now after years of research with a team that includes students, it's time to test it on humans through an application process with the FDA. This particular treatment is going to require that they want to quit, but most people eventually get to that point. And if they want to quit, this will help them quit. It's not a silver bullet, but it is a very first important step because if this works and it's able to stop some people uh, from proceeding along the cocaine addiction pathway, uh, that would be very gratifying. Now, right now, Dr. Norman says there isn't a drug that does this for cocaine. So this would be really groundbreaking. It would be a first for cocaine. And there are three phases to the human trial phase. That takes about five years through the FDA. So That's it's pretty insane. exciting. It is. Now, have they done this with other drugs? Can they just block the effects? Well, you know, Vivitrol can be used to block the effects of heroin for um, heroin addicts, opioid addicts. It can be used for alcoholism, but uh, we, we've done some stories about that. Naloxone can do the same yeah. thing, but this for cocaine is a first. Okay, but you have to want to have right. this happen if it's, you're it's addicted. It's one tool in yeah. the toolbox. You yeah. know, there's there's a behavioral therapy, cognitive therapy, you know, th psychological therapy. There are all these things that come along with drug addiction. So this is just one tool in the toolbox. As Dr. Norman says, it's not a silver bullet. Right. Good to see something going there. All right, mm -hmm. and we'll keep following this for sure. All for right. sure. Thanks, Anjanette.